Good morning. I'm uh, Chaplain Ernie Lang, and I bring you greetings from Christian Martial Arts Fellowship and also International Fellowship of Police and Fire Chaplains, which I'm a member of. And I'm also ordained through EMA Fellowship, and uh, bring greetings to all of us in EMA Fellowship this morning. And I just want to give my testimony to the Christians out there who are going through some things and are hurting right now. I've met a lot of Christians lately who've been disillusioned. Some of them feel like giving up the battle. And I wanted to share this morning that the Lord wants you to hang in there, and He's ready to fight the battle for you. In Ephesians chapter 6, the Lord has told us what our battle gear is. We have the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel, and oh, let's not forget the sword that He gives us in our hand, the sword of the Spirit, which is what? It's the Word of God. And in my own life, when I was five years old, my grandmother prayed over me and said, uh, she lived down in Alabama, and she said, you're going to serve the Lord when you get older. I'm going to pray for you. And time went on. I came back to Michigan. My father passed away when I was 15. I become very bitter and angry. Took up boxing and, and got into martial arts and karate. And then I entered the military, and I entered the Army. I was an Army, 5th Green Beret Division, 19th Special Forces. And I really thought I had it made there. Here I was, a mercenary and all this and that. And I was invited one night to a full gospel businessman's dinner by a brother. He's a Jewish brother. And he said, God has his hand on you and he wants you to come back and serve him. And I gave my heart back to the Lord that night and started serving him again. And my point is, the Lord doesn't give up on us and he doesn't want us to give up on him. Later on, I entered into the Christian Martial Arts Fellowship. We're a group of black belts that are Christians that serve the Lord. I'm kind of semi-retired now, but I had two schools and about 42 students. But what I want to say to you out there today, Christians that are hurting, is don't give up and don't quit. God has an answer for you. It's like David at Ziklag. David and his mighty warriors went to the town of Ziklag with their families, left their families there, and went off to fight for war. And they came back, and the enemy had come in the back door and burned the city to the ground and stole all the children and the wives. And then David's own men even wanted to stone him. But what did David do? It says David turned, he asked for the pastor or the priest, and said David sought the Lord. He said, Lord, shall I pursue? And the answer to this story is, the Lord said, yeah, David, pursue, you're going to get it all back. They got their wives and their family back, and they got all the enemies taken from them, they got it back. So what I want to say to you today is do not give up. We need to be, if you will, a black belt in Jesus. If I had to quit training before I got my black belt, I'd have never known how to fight in professional tournaments or anything else. And that's what the Lord is saying to us. The enemy wants you to give up halfway through your Christian walk. The enemy wants you to quit because you're getting beaten down. The enemy wants you to think there is no God, or God doesn't answer my prayers. He answers Joe Blow's prayers over here. But the Lord is saying to you today to come back into fellowship. Do not give up. Don't let the enemy tear you down because he's given you your helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, and he's given you that sword of the Spirit. And he'll send angels to do battle for you. But your part is do not give up. Don't quit on Jesus. He's not quitting on you. He tells you all through Scripture, the battle is mine. I will win, says the Lord. And he's saying to you today not to give up, not to quit. So let's say a prayer. If you're listening this morning and you've never made Jesus your Lord and Savior, you can pray right now and ask Him into your heart and you'll, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life in Heaven and you'll spend all eternity with the brethren. If you do know the Lord and you've walked away, just like the prodigal son did, Jesus is like the Father. He's looking down the road and He's saying, come on back home. I know you went out there and you're back in the world, but listen, come on back home. It's a lot better here than where you're at. And just like the prodigal son's father, Jesus looks down the road day after day and longs for you to come home so that he can put his arms around you and he can strengthen you You can go back out and fight the battle again. So let's say a prayer this morning. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I need to know you as my Lord and Savior. I need my name written in the Lamb's Book of Life in Heaven. So Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Strengthen me. Help me fight the battle in Jesus' name. And Lord, I'm out there today and I'm a Christian and I've walked away from you like the prodigal son. Jesus, I want to come back home. I need you to help me. I need you to put your arms around me and put my armor back on again so I can win the battle. So Lord Jesus, please forgive me and take me back home again today and help me to grow in you and help me to return to you, Lord Jesus, and help me to depend on you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray those prayers today, get in touch with a local pastor, a local church that knows Jesus, like Grace Christian Church or whatever's in your area. 
And let the brothers and sisters, let the fellowship of the Lord help you walk the road that Jesus has for you to walk. In Jesus' name, amen.